you doing? I'm practicing being Jack. It's my office now. Ha! <laughs> You're gonna have to fight me for it, old boy. Right here. Right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna miss him. You won't be the only one. <laughs> Jack, uh, I'm glad this has been taped because. I suspect that uh, I might be giving a second or a third or a fourth retirement uh, thank you to you, given that we've published your last book, I think, five times now, and I believe there's another one in process. So uh, I'm glad we'll be able to use this again. But seriously, Jack, in my opinion, you're an example of everything that's good about uh, an academic whose work matters to the community and makes a difference. And uh, even though I suspect we'll see you back here pretty soon and your input will uh, continue to be vital to us, uh, just thanks so much for joining with me to found and build this centre. It's been uh, invaluable and we couldn't have done it without you. Hi. Well, what can I say about Jack? Can I actually tell the truth? Or Shall I be very nice and say all the good things? No, look, I'll tell the truth. Right, Jack, you are an absolute legend. Um, I know that over the years I've met with you, um, I've learned a lot, and hopefully um, I've shared some fun with you in some of those workshops we've done together um, over the years. But certainly I would say you've always been very free to give your time. I know you've supported me over the years, especially in the, the Small Business Expo when you were happy to do the workshops. I really admire the work you've done, and certainly I still like using that title, pumping up your tyres, saying you are the largest, no not the largest, what would I say, Australia's most respected, well written author on small business. So, for me to you Jack, all the best, hope you enjoy retirement. Hi Jack, all the best for your retirement. Uh, we've been uh, knowing each other since 1981 I've worked out, up in Lismore, you taught me how to drink at the wine bar. So, all the best, and uh, I'm sure I'll run into you in the future. Thanks. Jack has really been an integral part of our unit for a while now. He helps us with our judging panels on looking at innovative companies on pathways to commercialisation. Um, he's a great innovator himself. Um, his company's always fantastic and he brings um, a passion to who we are and what we do. Uh, he's just fantastic. More. <laughs> Jack, I hope you have a fantastic retirement. I certainly hope it doesn't mean that we don't get to see you in the square so that we can't be drinking together and regularly having coffees together because I must say I'd really miss that. Jack, Brian Gibson here from the University of New England, uh, which is, I understand, an area where uh, that you know fairly well, having spent some time here a long time before I ever arrived. I've got to say I was surprised to hear you were retiring. I just assumed that you were already locked up in a um, some sort of uh, aged care facility, but obviously you're not quite as old as I thought you were. Given that I'm joining you soon, I shouldn't make too many ageist jokes, I suspect. Uh, I guess um, on a, a momentous occasion like your retirement, uh, a reminder or two for both you and your colleagues about... Uh, your prior contributions, things like giving up uh, weekends to go to conferences and freeze your butt off in student accommodation at um, Toowoomba. I'm sure you remember that particular event. Um, and I'm also surprised to hear that you're still sort of in there publishing uh, and, and making lots of money out of books, despite the fact that I assured you on a couple of occasions that the fundamental uh, assumptions underlying your books are totally wrong and don't conform with uh, Austrian economics. But I see you've ignored me and continued to make money regardless. Uh, good luck, mate. Um, enjoy your retirement, if that's what it is really going to be, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up again somewhere soon. Oh, Jack, I'm just refreshing my knowledge of entrepreneurship, which, of course, you've taught me everything I know in this regard. Um, it's been fantastic working with you on TIAB and on Ideas, which was one of the most successful programs that the department ever ran, at least in my time in that space. I wish you well for your retirement and enjoy that fishing. 
Jack, it's Michael Shaper from Canberra here, and I wanted to acknowledge, first of all, your great contribution as a writer, as an educator. You've been a real inspiration to people like myself that have followed in your footsteps. But you've been more than just that. Like yourself, we've both been refugees in Canberra at one time or another, and we really appreciated all the help you gave us when we started off here. Ultimately, Canberra hasn't been for everyone, and uh, it's beaten the best of people like yourself, but um, we've always appreciated your support, we've always appreciated your help, and you've been a real inspiration to me personally, as well as to professionally as well. Hi Jack, I hear you're uh, kind of retiring, but not really quite. I think you're moving maybe three or four doors down the corridor. But look, congratulations, mate. It's been a fantastic period with AIRC and the university and the business community in, in Tasmania. Everyone's benefited, benefited tremendously from the work that you've done. Small business and medium business in Tasmania owes a great deal to the work of Jack English, to all of those publications. I hear there may be another book coming up, uh, perhaps two or three, maybe even uh, a complete set. The book of books, the Jack English book of books, we're really looking forward to seeing that, Jack. Good on you. Oh, well, Jack's a pretty popular guy, Pop. People said some pretty nice stuff about him. They did, they did. He's done a lot of uh, really good things for the university, for the business community. He's helped a lot of people. He has. He helped you, didn't he? He did, he did. Uh, you know, my life was sort of at uh, a real crossroads as far as which way to go, and Jack was somebody who saw something and, uh, and acted on it. And, uh, and I thank you, Jack, for helping me to uh, find a new direction in life. Without your help and assistance, I wouldn't be here. Um, and truly appreciate it, as does my family. What about you, Paul? Well, Jack rescued me from a promising career and made me an academic. And I'm eternally grateful for that. He showed me the way and the light with regards to uh, using my brain powers for good. So, you know, I'm really pleased to be here at the AIRC and, I've, you know, I've spent a lot of time with Jack outside of uni working with government and working with businesses and, you know, he really has made a great difference and so I'm eternally grateful to him for, for mentoring me and giving me a kick in the arts when I needed it. Well, I suppose it's mostly a really good thing that he's not really retiring. Yeah. Kind of a joke though, wasn't it? What? He's just moving to another office. Yeah. Steady as she goes, Jack. See you when you write your next book. Yeah, don't put your shoulder out fishing and don't trip on a slippery rock. <laughs>